Hello, in this problem we're going to solve this equation that involves a determinant. So we have the determinant of the two by two matrix with entries x, three, x, x, and that is equal to four. So recall that if you have the determinant of a matrix, say A, B, C, D, the formula in this case says that this is equal to, and so what you do basically is you take A times D, so AD, and then you always subtract and then minus B times C. And that's the formula for the determinant of a two by two matrix. So it's AD minus BC, AD minus BC. So in this particular problem, we have all of these X's so let's go ahead and apply this formula to our determinant here. So this would be x times x, which is x squared, and then minus three times x, three times x. So again, x times x is x squared, and then minus, that's part of the formula, and then three times x, which is three times x. And all of this is equal to four. So we have to find the values of x. So because this is a quadratic equation, we'll set it equal to zero. So we'll subtract four from both sides. So minus four, then minus four over here. So we have x squared minus three x minus four, and that's equal to zero. Okay, so hopefully this factors. I'm going to try to factor it simply by guessing. So because we have an x squared here, I'm thinking it might look something like this. x, x, and this is equal to zero. And that's because x times x is x squared. So that part looks okay. So now we need two numbers that multiply to negative four, but add to negative three. So one times four is four, so let's make the bigger one negative. So minus four plus one. And let's go ahead and check that. The middle term, or right, the inner term rather, is x, and the outer term is negative four x when you multiply these. And if you add these, you get the middle term here. And that always works, by the way. The inner and the outer will always give you the middle term in problems like this. And then one times negative four is negative four. Again, x times x is x squared. One times negative four is negative four. The inside piece is x. The outside piece gives you negative four x. If you add these up, you get the middle term, which is negative three x. Because we have a product and it's equal to zero, we can set the, each factor equal to zero. So x plus one equals zero, or x minus four equals zero. This one's pretty easy to solve. We're adding one, so we just subtract one. So we get x equals minus one, and that's one of our answers. Then over here, we're subtracting four, so we simply add four to both sides. So plus four, plus four, so x is equal to four. And that would be, those would be the solutions to our determinant equation. I hope this has been helpful. Good luck.